Hello and welcome to Indian News. This is Ratnakar with English Bulletin. News in detail. Earlier, 320 polling stations were fixed for the Nagpur Division Graduate Constituency Election 2020 under the Maharashtra Legislative Council elections. Two auxiliary polling stations have been set up in addition to existing ones in view of the increased number of voters and the coronavirus pandemic since the voters list was published. Earlier, Election Commission had announced the final list of polling stations for a total of six districts in Nagpur Graduate Constituencies as per its recent order of these. 320 centers were fixed but now voting will take place at 322 places the order clarified that more attention is being paid to voter security while announcing the final list of polling booths for the biennial elections of Nagpur Division Graduate Constituency which is taking place against the backdrop of coronavirus pandemic and lockdown induced by it this constituency has been fixed following covid-19 guidelines In yet another hit and run incident in the Belt Road area of the city, a rashly driven four-wheeler knocked dead a middle-aged man on Varda Road recently. The driver of the killer vehicle fled from the spot, fearing arrest and manhandling by the local citizens. The deceased person, Chandrasekhar Jyotiram Tirkode, was a resident of Plot No. 246, New Khaipri Rehabilitation Colony. Tirkode was returning back to his home on motorcycle around at 3 p.m. Just then, a rashly driven and was speeding four wheeler hit Tirupode injuring him seriously and leaving him bleeding profusely he was rushed immediately to the government medical hospital in the city where doctors pronounced him brought dead after registering a case under section 279304a of the indian penal code after registering a case under section 279304a of the indian penal code with the section 134 and 177 of motor vehicle act belt road police comes the pro joint and active tb and leprosy research campaign in nagpur city under national tuberculosis eradication program is being implemented from 1st december to 6th december due to the emergency situation of covid-19 pandemic in the city the number of tuberculosis and leprosy patients diagnosed and the number of tuberculosis patient being treated has come down drastically as compared to the previous several years and this constant Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India is proposing various measures for early diagnosis of patients according to pathological students if a patient with tuberculosis and leprosy is deprived of diagnosis or treatment the patient as well as other people associated with him will have to face the complications caused by the disease therefore the campaign's aim is to find out all the tb and leprosy patients in the city in the elections of nagpur division graduate constituency the opposition is trying to mislead the people of the society the dirty politics of caste of the candidate is going on the height and party's negative side from others rajya sabha mp dr vikas kumar may appeal to the graduate constituency voters to elect a candidate only after analyzing the work of the candidate and their performance Mr. Sandeep Joshi, the official candidate of BJP and its allies, held a meeting at various places in Nagpur on Thursday. MP Dr. Vikas Mahatme was speaking during a meeting organized by the Dhangar Samaj. MP Dr. Vikas Mahatme was speaking during a meeting organized by the Dhangar Samaj Sangharsh Samiti at Swati Lawn on Manewada Road. The meeting was attended by the Dasture Corporator Mangala Khekre, Corporator Nagesh Mankar, Corporator Rajendra Sonkusre. Dhangar Samaj Sangharsh Samiti Vice President Mahadev Rao Patonde Girish Deshmukh and a large number of Dhangar community members Nagpur Divisional Graduate Constituency polls are looming large with 16 candidates in the fray each candidate is appealing to cast vote in his favor as first preference early majority of the graduates are unaware of the preferential voting system Nitin Marutra Kumbalkar joint secretary of All India Congress Committee and secretary Maharashtra Pradesh Congress Committee while talking to reporters through light on pv system kumbalkar said the previous has a two steps for selecting a candidate this method is good for the candidate who want to vote in only one segment like his or her own caste kumbalkar further added that although pv is a bit complex mechanism this method is good for the candidate who want to vote in only one segment like his or her own caste kumbalkar further added that although pv is a bit complex mechanism it's 
use can lead to a more democratic constitutional system. This method is not useful in general elections as it is complex and takes a lot of time to count votes. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family.